Not everyone gets tested and not everybody who gets infected with COVID shows symptoms. So testing may not tell the real story on how widespread or limited the virus may be in certain neighborhoods. The truth may come from wastewater. Even though we think of it as a respiratory infection, which it certainly is, um, it remains, the virus remains in stool even after somebody has gotten over their symptoms. UIC School of Public Health researcher Sam Dorovich says there are high levels of COVID in stool. To track the virus, UIC is in the process of studying sewage samples from the city's water treatment plants. We're doing this project really to help the Chicago Department of Public Health get a good sense of where the disease is. Uh, where it's highest, where it's lowest, where it's changing. Tracking it can give hospitals more time to prepare for outbreaks. And while the project begins with the treatment plants, the study will become large scale when it collects samples from different Chicago neighborhoods. Testing will begin in neighborhoods before the end of the year and will really ramp up in January. It will require a lot of coordination with Chicago's Department of Water Management. Neighborhood testing will involve opening up manhole covers, and while the project aims to help the city track the virus, researchers have other goals as well. The other goal is more long-term, to set up a network of wastewater monitoring so that when the next pandemic arrives, uh, we'll have a head start. Researchers say testing wastewater is much more efficient and possibly a more accurate way to track diseases than completely relying on people getting tested. At UIC, Sarah Schulte, ABC7 Eyewitness News. Hey, if you like that video, be sure to subscribe to our ABC7 Chicago YouTube channel.